Three years after a deadly train derailment in South Pierce County, Amtrak will begin running test trains along the Point Defiance Bypass. King Fez Britt Moore takes a look at when passenger service along that route could return. There hasn't been a passenger train on these tracks in three years, but that's changing soon. Signs are already up along the 14 mile stretch, letting drivers know that crews will begin running test trains on this route in a little over a week. Three years after a deadly train derailment along the Point Defiance bypass near DuPont, Amtrak is getting closer to restarting service there. The route was created to improve the Amtrak Cascades line between Seattle and Portland. But during the first passenger run in December of 2017, a train plunged onto I-5, killing three people and hurting dozens. Sound Transit, which owns this section of the track, says there have been a number of safety measures installed along the route since. I think the biggest one is the, is the positive train control system that, that is now activated throughout the system. And this will uh, is a computer system that if the operator does not slow the train down when it's needed, it, it, the computer will do it automatically. Scott Thompson with Sound Transit says signs have been added along the route, letting conductors know about the speed reduction ahead of the curve along the bypass. Amtrak crews will run test trains on January 16th and 17th between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Trains will start going out rather slowly, but eventually will ramp up to 79 miles an hour, which is the top speed they can run through uh, through portions of the bypass. Thompson says the process to get passenger trains back on the tracks will take several months. He says the window for reopening is late summer or early fall of this year, a timeline that could change. We're being very diligent in our safety process and making sure that uh, everything is done as it is supposed to be. While test trains are running, you might see police in the area. You might experience some delays if you're just passing through. Again, this is all happening January 16th and 17th. In DuPont, Britt Moore, King 5 News.